all this just to try to get five minutes with Jeff Probst. Two thumbs up for Dr. Nelson, yeah. Good morning y'all, today is day 42. Uh, I got a new bag, I'm gonna return the old one, so I'm heading to the post office now. Looks like I'm carrying a dead body, that's a good look. Um, and I got a dolly to carry my new bag, since I still can't put any weight on my back. All right, it's a windy day, as you can see from the clouds behind me, it's supposed to rain, so I'm gonna try to beat the rain. I'm not gonna beat the wind though, holy crap. Love you guys. I can't believe how early they put up their Christmas decorations around here. That's one happy looking dick. I'm already in love with this new situation I got here. So the bag is uh, great. No hands, it's just a great bag. I think the other one's what caused that cyst because it wouldn't let my uh, sweat dry and kind of flow properly. It just kind of stayed there. Whereas this one's like contoured and the right material. But more importantly, this dolly that's helping me carry this bag since I still can't put any weight on my back. The wheels are taller, so I can go in like grass. The, the Oklahoma grass is really short, and by going in the grass, I can stay the heck off the road. I don't have to literally dodge cars every two seconds. So just a great overall better setup for sure. So uh, at the doctor's office, I finally got weighed, and uh, I had rehydrated at that point. Usually, I would say I go, at the end of the day, I, I bet you I'm seven pounds seven to 10 pounds lighter just from water weight and then I rehydrate and I gain it back. But I was still down 10, or not 10. God, maybe it's the medicine that's, that's uh, my name is Jamie, uh, uh, nine pounds. I am nine pounds lighter than when I first started. So I think, um, you know, my body's conditioned for this at this point, like been out here 42 days. Uh, I think this is probably where my weight's gonna stay. I, I, don't, I don't anticipate losing a ton more because I think I've got a good, system of eating and drinking and sleeping i feel like aside from you know, obviously this cyst holding me back i feel like i'm pretty much firing on all cylinders i'm feeling good all right guys love you look at these lines somebody had a fun day at work whoever painted those lines must have mowed this lawn too i'm at the corner of garth brooks and Route 66 I'm trying to think of where i know him from he was in that one movie uh at that scene it was him and Wayne they were driving and he goes oh, I see a little silhouette Gar uh, uh, Wayne's World man that was a great movie this flash flood is no joke look at how fast that water's moving this is how they water the crops in Oklahoma man that was fun <laughs> that rain was like the flash flooding whoo that was wild. That was definitely wild. But anyway, tonight's hotel room is sponsored by Tasha Wilkie. All right, um, so I have a story about Tasha. I'm gonna tell you guys later when I'm all snuggled up in bed. So right now I'm still drenched and uh, I still would like to get a shower, <laughs> even though I pretty much just had one for a couple of hours. All right, love you guys. Well, I had the honor and the privilege of officiating Tasha and Mandy's wedding, and it was awesome. Uh, Tasha has more or less dedicated her life to uh, awareness for JDRF, uh, Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. And um, she does these huge events with uh, reality stars. And one of them she did at my dance studio. So I've gotten to meet like um, some of the winners from Survivor and just different uh, people in that realm and uh, really inspiring, R really, really cool stuff. And uh, I'll keep you guys posted on the next fundraiser she does because she's done some some really awesome ones. Uh, but right now she's actually doing a uh, popcorn sale. Uh, her son Cooper, uh, one of her sons, Cooper, is a Cub Scout, and uh, her goal was to sell, make a sale, a popcorn sale in every state. And I believe she said last year he did it, but this year uh, I think they've only gotten like 16 states so far. Four of the states I'll be walking through, so I don't know. Maybe I can order it and send it to a hotel I'm at or something like that. But anyway, I'll put a link in the description below, and I'm sure she will as well and maybe even like what states she still needs and stuff like that. So if anybody wants to help an awesome person, uh, do so, all right? Okay, so I do not have a 
And I'm out here with Chicken Head, and we are trying the, what are these things? Onion fried burgers. Onion fried burgers. And they have, what's the town, the 800 pound one or something? The biggest one? El Reno is the world, it's holds the record for having the world's largest onion fried burger in its eight foot diameter. Nice. And how long did it take you to eat that? <laughs> I wouldn't even dry. <laughs> I had such a good time talking with Steven tonight and uh, just sharing stories. Um, he has a very different um, survivor casting experience than I've had. Um, although neither of us have made it on the show, he talks about his time just in a fun, loving, excited uh, manner. And if you guys haven't noticed, even though obviously I'm walking across the country to try, try to get on Survivor right now, I almost never talk about Survivor on here. And uh, simply put, it's because Survivor is a very painful thing for me. It's it's haunted me for 12 years, you know? Like, you know, when you want to live your dreams, you want it to be up to you, not someone else. And, you know, that, that casting director 12 years ago just destroyed me. Just those words have haunted me for 12 years to the point where here I am again. And for me, it's just, it's very black and white. It's either um, the show... Um, gets canceled and I move on with my life or I get on the show. That's it. I, I don't see a middle ground. I wish I did. I just need closure, you know? And the crappy thing is like I was telling Steven earlier, I said, Jeff Probst could look at me in my stupid face and say, Greg, I would never put you on survivor in a million years. And I wouldn't believe him. I'm too much of an optimist for my own good. So we just had two very different stories and I hope I can get to a place someday where I, I can be happy talking about it like like he was because I just need some closure. Yeah, I, I just need some closure. My nieces and nephews are going to love this. These are those new bathrooms where you have to poop sideways. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye.